What's up guys, it's your boy Leo JX here and today I am going to be doing a Nemesis review at Alton Towers. So if you don't know what Nemesis is, it's a it's a um, roller coaster that has been built in Alton Towers. So I'm going to be doing a review on this roller coaster and my thoughts on it. But before we start this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my friends at my school. They have been um, very nice, and I really and I really like them. They've been asking me to give them shout out, so big shout out to them. And please like and subscribe to my channel, Leo Peel. Let's just jump right into this. Okay, so Nemesis is a inverted roller coaster as you can see um and as you can see it is going around right now and Leo I can't answer you so as you can see I um the roller coaster is going around and I was literally just coming in so this roller coaster is inverted the manufacturer was BM and and um, the height is four, 43 feet. That's how high the chain the chain lift goes. And then it drops 140 feet. How does it do that? Well, this whole ride has been built in trenches. So, because Alton Towers was meant wasn't allowed to build this ride above tree level. So they had to pack in a crazy good ride that isn't tall. And and the slope down is basically a gradual slope all the way down. And it is really fun, but a little bit intense. But I don't get how this much speed, how 50 miles an hour is generated out of this little drop. I don't, I don't get how it is, but seriously, I just don't get, I've, I've also heard how people say it's the, oh, it's the best invert id roller coaster ever made in, in Alton Towers, or it's going to be the best ride in the UK, it actually isn't really my favourite ride in the UK, nor is it um, my favourite ride in Alton Towers, I, I kind of like the Smiler more, because, because it, at the back I tried um, it and I was kind of underwhelmed because I couldn't see anything and you know um, I didn't know the track at all so it, this this was a very very intense ride for me but it was actually a little bit fun too so yeah I, I really like this but um, this ride has has had a lot of people just saying oh my god it's just so good that it's gonna be your favorite ride ever it actually isn't because you because in the back you can't actually see all the trenches of diving in and out of so i was i was actually i actually i was actually kind of underwhelmed at the back because like i couldn't see anything i couldn't see all the trenches as you can see that we were driving out in and out of but then i tried it at the front and the, and i and i and the front is like a lot more visual so it was actually a lot a lot more of a mo but now i can actually understand why people think it's actually a, the, the best invert ever it well it's, it's kind of not but um I, I think i think the same about the black mamba I'll go. I'll go back or more into that when I do that review. But um, yeah, it's it's a, it's a really fun roller coaster to be honest. Don't get me wrong, it is actually a really fun coaster. Now, but in the front, I tried it, and I and now I understand why people think it it is the best invert ever. Like now I understand. So yeah like that's why i think the same with black mamba but I'll, I'll just go more into that when i do that review so yeah that's just my thoughts on nemesis 
I think Nemesis is actually really fun. No, but I actually see the view of people and why they think it's actually the best invert ever. Cause they, cause they, I think they tried the front first, and they could, act, and then they didn't try the, the, even the back. Cause I tried the back and I was really underwhelmed because, but I, I tried it at the back first because that's where all the G forces are gonna be. At the front, it's just gonna be more visual and more better of a ride experience. So. Yeah, I tried this. I tried this ride um, a few times, and I actually quite liked it. It it's really cool. Like, I think the theme is phenomenal. Like, the theming is out of this world. Like, look, look at that. And they also tried to pack in a crazy good ride that is a tour. Like, how they did that by building that station all the way down there. Um, so they put the station right over there and and put it underground so so that it will not be tall and I just don't understand why um, all this um, speed is generated out of a tiny little drop it's actually not really a drop it's kind of just a gradual slope downwards um, but you know it's it's really it's really fun. I, I must say, it, it gets really close to some pathways, which makes it really fun to watch off ride. And and the loop is great because it's built some it's built somewhat close to the ground or under an or below ground level. So it is it is very 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 fun going around that l vertical loop and. This ride only has four inversions. It only has three corkscrews and one vertical loop. That's it. Only four inversions. And then the rest of the ride... Be, and, and then the rest of the ride continues at ground level or below ground level. Because this whole ride is built in trenches because they can't build it um, at, above trees. Otherwise, otherwise they would, otherwise this ride would be exposed and then, and then people are probably gonna not like it. So, that's why they tried to pack it in below the trees so that more people would try and ride this ride. Yeah, those are just my thoughts on Nemesis. It is actually, like, one of my funnest coasters. The same with Black Mamba. I really like that one too. Um... Yeah, that I'll, I'll just go more into that review, even though I've said it like a million times. But you know, that's just just my thoughts on Nemesis, and it is a really, really fun coaster. So, yeah, um, be sure to stick around for Black Mamba um, next time. Peace out. <laughs>